<clears throat> this is Eugenia Curry. I live at 360 Balcom Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10465. I, another video, all right? Um, this is what I really don't get. Roseanne came up here. She lives, works for Pibley Organization, deals with the financial part of it. And you would think that since I've been here since 2015, these were my goals, right? To go to school, right? Um, finish school, get a good paying job so that I can pay $1,500 just like everyone else in New York City, right? Because my theory was that, okay, they're never going to let me go, you know, uh, you know, because every time they put me on a shop list or they can't put me on the shop list, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So I said, okay, let me just go to school and just let me pay rent like everyone else. But then they stopped me from getting my BA because it's in, New I'm sorry, in America. Let me just deal with New York City area a diploma i mean if you get an associate's degree uh maybe you make twenty five thousand, right but if you get a ba which i'm 90 shy of getting my ba i would get fifty thousand, right because they say the higher the education the more money you get right so i was doing things logically this is how i'm thinking about it I'm in people organization. I am thankful that God gave me a roof over my head. Let me use it the right way of going to school, get on my feet, get off SSI, get off food stamps. Now, if I was going to work and I realized that I could not pay for food, then I would still have, I wouldn't be like, oh no, I'm making 50,000. There's no way I can go get food stamps. I would still go get food stamps, right? So my thing is this, that everyone has a plan when they come in here at Pibley Organization. My plan was, thank you, Pibley, for giving me a roof over my head, even though you're putting fucked up clients, roommates, and I have to battle with these motherfuckers, and you're always going to take the side no matter what, I'm focusing on what I'm trying to do, right? But when you have staff members like Megan Cruz, who's a hater? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to put this bitch in her place to know I got no degree and I'm making cools. I'm Dominican. It's all about me and this and that. And every. <laughs> really, that's her. She's a Dominican. It's all about her. And she's a supervisor in Unity. Fuck everybody else. I'll just fuck the clients, though. So, my point is, I had a goal, right? The goal is this, right? You don't look at one option, right? So what I did, I'm saying, if you're only looking at them putting you in shop, right? You can't do that. Go to school, right? Get a good paying job. And if shop don't work out for you, <clears throat> that means now that you have a good paying job, you can find your own. You see, this is water. See how you can see through it, right? 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 Now, this is shot. Can't see through it, right? Can't see through it. You can't see your future. But with the clear water, I can see my future. With shot, who wants to sit around waiting for staff members to love you or hate you or you kissing out of their asses? To get shot, right? This is this is shop. Trying to get shot, right? Oh, we want shop. It's all dirty and messy. What do we need to do to get shot, right? This is clear, clear vision to say, I know that I can't chase after shop because shop is messy. See that shop is messy. So I said, let me go for independent living without restrictions, right? That's clear. That's something you can see. With this, this is shopless, right? Full of shit. Because there's no such thing of a shopless. It's called favoritism. Peace out.